Iranian state media, IRNA, reported a landmark announcement. Russia has agreed to construct eight new nuclear power plants across Iran. At least four of these facilities will be built in Bushehr, the same city where Russia helped Iran complete its first civilian nuclear reactor. The agreement comes after months of intensified cooperation between Moscow and Tehran, punctuated by a high-level meeting in Moscow where Russian President Vladimir Putin and Iranian President Masoud Pezeshkian signed a set of strategic documents. The development has sparked deep concern from global observers, especially in light of Iran's contentious nuclear history and the ongoing instability in the Middle East. Iranian oil minister Mohsen Paknajad confirmed that Russia will fund much of the construction using a credit line extended to Iran. This includes completing phases two and three of the Bushehr power plant, a project long in the making but delayed by sanctions and political turmoil. To understand the implications, we need to look at both history and present-day geopolitics. Iran's nuclear program began in the 1950s under the Atoms for Peace initiative led by the United States. But following the 1979 Islamic Revolution, Western support evaporated. Russia stepped in during the 1990s, leading to the completion of the first Bushehr reactor in 2011. While officially civilian, Iran's nuclear ambitions have since been clouded by accusations of military intentions, especially after it enriched uranium beyond permitted limits under the now fractured Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. The International Atomic Energy Agency, led by Rafael Grossi, continues to express serious concerns. Just days ago, Grossi described Iran as his biggest preoccupation, emphasizing a lack of transparency and cooperation. On June 9th, as this new agreement broke, Grossi was speaking at the IAEA headquarters in Vienna, underlining the urgency of renewed inspections and accountability. Meanwhile, the specter of Israeli preemptive action looms large. Israel has repeatedly vowed to prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons. In recent conversations with IAEA officials, Iranian representatives warned that any Israeli strike could push them to officially pursue nuclear arms. This marks a dangerously escalatory rhetoric that adds fuel to an already volatile region. So why is Russia deepening its nuclear cooperation with Iran now? Strategically, the answer lies in Moscow's shifting global alliances. Isolated by Western sanctions following its invasion of Ukraine, Russia has turned eastward, forming closer bonds with nations like Iran and China. For Iran, the partnership offers not only energy infrastructure, but political cover and economic lifelines. But the global stakes are enormous. More nuclear infrastructure in Iran could push Saudi Arabia and Turkey to escalate their own nuclear pursuits. Singapore's foreign minister recently warned that Northeast Asia is on track to host five nuclear powers. Could the Middle East be next? This isn't just about power plants. It's about power, geopolitical, military, and ideological. As Russia builds reactors, the world watches to see whether this alliance will spark an energy revolution or ignite a new phase of nuclear rivalry.